negative interest rates put world on course for biggest mass default in history. More than 2 trillion worth of Eurozone government bonds trade on a negative interest rate. It's a bubble that is bound to end badly. Here is an astonishing statistic, more than 30 pc of all government debt in the Eurozone around 2 trillion of securities in total is trading on a negative interest rate. With the advent of European Central Bank quantitative easing, what began four months ago when 10-year Swiss yields turned negative for the first time has snowballed into a veritable avalanche of negative rates across European government bond markets. In the hunt for apparently safe assets, investors have thrown caution to the wind, and collectively determined to pay governments for the privilege of lending to them. On a country-by-country -country basis, the statistics are even more startling. According to investment bank Jeffries, some 70 pc of all German bonds now trade on a negative yield. In France, it's 50 pc, and even in Spain, which was widely thought insolvent only a few years ago, it's 17 pc. Not only has this never happened before on such a scale, but it marks a scarcely believable turnaround on the situation at the height of the Eurozone crisis just a little while back when some European bond markets traded on yields that reflected the very real possibility of default. Yet far from being a welcome sign of returning economic confidence, this almost surreal state of affairs actually signals the very reverse. How did we get here, and what does it mean for the future? Whichever way you come at it, the answer to this second question is not good, not good at all. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.realthingmean.webs.com.